Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Python. Till this point we have talked about functions right and we know now how to create functions. Now again when you want to, when you have a big project and if you want to break down your project into smaller tasks, each task can be represented with the help of function and those things are reusable that's why we define in that one particular block right. When you want to use a concept of modularity, we use a concept again of functions and then we create modules. I mean, we'll talk about them later in detail. Important point here is when we talk about functions, of course, we call them, right? So again, in this example, let's we'll, we'll focus on two things. The first one is how to pass a parameters to a function and what happens with the variable when you pass it to a function, okay? If you modify the value, what will happen? Again, we'll see that. And then we'll also see different types of parameters we can pass or you can say arguments you can pass, right? So let's get started. Now let me define a simple function here. I will say def and you can go with any function name doesn't matter. I will say update, okay? You can say modify or any function name doesn't matter, right? So we have a update function. Now this update function will take a value from a user and let's say the value is in a variable called as x. I love this variable name x. So we have a function which is update and we are passing a variable x. Inside this update, I will be saying x equal to 8. Now you tell me if I update the value and if I print it here, of course, will it get updated whatever value you pass? Let's try. What I'm talking about is if I call this function update by passing a value 10. So initially the value of x is 10, but then later we are saying, hey, I don't want to use the value 10. I want to change the value to 8 and then I want to print it. So will it print at 8 or will it print 10? So think about it. Uh, of course, why right, it should print 8 because we are updating a value, right? So let's run this code. And here we go, we got the output as 8. So it works, that's great. So we, we, we are getting the updated value. What will happen to the value? Example, if I create a variable here outside of outside this, if I say there's a variable called as a and the value for this a is 10 and I'm not passing 10, I'm passing a. So basically I'm passing the value of a. So we are passing 10, right? The value of a is going to, uh, going to x now. Let's run this code. This works. Now uh, let me print the value of a. So what do you think? What will happen now? Of course, the value of x, so this print will print 8, of course. What about this print? Will this print 8 or 10? That's a question, right? Because here we are printing the value of x. Let me just specify that explicitly there. So here we are printing the value of x and here we are printing the value of a. So this is what we are doing, right? So let's run this code again. So what do you think? Will it update the value for a as well? And if you run this code, you can see a is still 10. So even if you're updating the value for x, it is not affecting a. So we have a concept called as pass by reference and pass by value. So if you have learned other languages like C, C++, uh, we have this concept there, right? Pass by value and pass by reference. So what happens in Python? Is it call by value or call by reference? Let me just give you a thing what is call by value is. Now, whenever you say you are calling a function by passing a variable value, it will be passed as a value, not as a variable. Example here, when I say update a, I'm not passing a, I'm passing 10. That's important, right? I'm passing the value of 10. Okay, I'm not talking about Python here, okay? I'm, talking, I'm talking about the general concept of uh, pass by value and pass by reference. So if you say it's a pass by value, it simply means you're passing a value, not the address. But in pass by reference, you're passing the address itself. Now, why it's so important? Example, if you pass a value, now whatever happens with that value, this A is not concerned about it, right? Because the moment you pass a value, it will create, it will use a different memory, right? So when you say pass the value, it will say if you pass 10 or if you pass the value of A, the X will take, S will get a different memory, okay? Different memory of 10. So even if you update that 10, it will not affect A, that's, that's pass by value. The next concept is pass by reference. Now what is pass by reference is you are passing the address, which means you are not passing 10, you are passing the address of A, which means the moment you change the value for X, it will affect the value of A, okay? That is called by reference or pass by reference. What happens in Python? What if I say in Python, we don't have any of this concept. We don't have pass by value, we don't have pass by reference. So Python is different here. Now, before changing the value, what I will do is before changing this value, in fact, we have talked about this before. Everything in Python is object, right? Everything is object here. So if I pass a value here, example, if I'm passing A, and before passing, before calling update, let me print the ID for A. It should print some ID. And let me print the ID of X as well. Now, if there are two different variables, if there are two different variables, we'll be having two different IDs, right? 
Of course, there are two different variables, but if they are, if they are taking two different memories, they will be having two different IDs, right? It means run this code. And you can see before updating, we have the same memory. That means when you pass a value, they are still referring to the same object, okay? A and X refers to the same object. So of course, this is not passed by value. Is it called by reference or passed by reference? Not exactly, because in passed by reference, when you change the value, it will affect the original value as well. So this is not, this is none of them, okay? The moment you change the value of X, and if I print the ID of X in this case, okay, let me just read on this. So you can see we are updating the value. So this, we got a new ID. So the moment you change the value, it will, you will, it will give you a new ID. In fact, we have talked about this in a, in a video called as mode on variables, right? So we have talked about this before. So remember this point, Whenever you pass a value to, uh, when you call a function by passing a value, they will share the same uh, ID, the, the value which is the variable data which has been passed and the variable you're accessing it here. But then the moment you change the value, it will change the address. Okay, normally if you're going for interviews, they might ask you this concept, you know. So in Python, what is, what, in Python, what we use, is it pass by reference or pass by value? So answer is none of this. We don't use any of them here. The reason when you change this value, it will create a new memory is because integer string, they are immutable, right? What if you, you use something which is mutable here? Example, instead of having this A, let's imagine this is least. And in this list, we have certain values. Let's say we have 10 and we have 20 and we have 30. Now, in this case, when you have these three values and if you want, if you're passing this list, okay, let me, just, uh, let me just print the ID as well. And I want to update the list, not a normal variable here. And I want to print the list as, as it is. And here as well, I will change the name of it. It doesn't matter if you if you use the same variable, okay, it's, it works, even if you use same variable name. And if I say LST, let me change a value for LST. I will not change all the values, I will change only one value. I want to change the index number one, I want to make it 25. So it should be 10, 25 and 30, that's what I want. Now I'm changing the list, right? Will it change the ID? That's the question. Let's print the LST here as well. And let's run this code. And you can see we got the updated value here. That's perfect. And it is also updating the original list, is it? Yeah, it is updating the original list as well because the ID is same, right? Because since we have the same ID here, um, it, is not, it will not change, so it is mutable, right? That's the idea behind list here. So we have talked about something, uh, something amazing, right? So that's about this video. In the next video, we'll talk about different kinds of arguments we can use in Python. So I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye-bye.